for three. It's on the side of the rim and off, and it's rebounded by Jarvis Fisher of Blue Mountain College. Into the front court comes Corvin Harris to Johnson. Around to the right of it to Fisher. Fisher against Armitage, and Fisher brings it back outside. On the right side line again over to Harris. Corbin Harris into the right corner, out to Fisher, penetrates into the lane, up fakes, leaps up, missed the scoop, and the rebound grabbed by Mullen of Nova. Quickly, the Sharks the other way. Armitage drives in, missed the layup, and the rebound knocked off the hand of Resch and played by Blue Mountain. Fisher with it, gets it over to Harris, weaves his way into the lane, on the left, over to Johnson. Now to Fisher once more against Nova's Steon Berg, back of the foul line. Johnson slips it inside. The pass is caught. The turnaround one-hander is missed. Missed by Devante Poulian, touching it for the first time. And the ball is knocked out of bounds, and they've got a foul on the rebounding. Foul committed by Poulian. So Poulian, who did not play much on Tuesday night, he's from Prairie, Mississippi, a 6'4 junior. He was ill, but his coach says he's back and in good shape. Three-pointer by Gene Girard missed from the right, and the rebound, Blue Mountain. Just the start of things, and neither team has scored yet. Second minute of the game. Pulliam with the ball on the right now. Over to Fisher. His pass missed thrown and stolen away by Luke Resch. Nova coming in with a mark of four and three, and with a basketball, working it right to left. Armitage getting his first start ever as a member of Nova. Mullen down the side of the lane, reaches up, and he's fouled by Johnson. Ricky Johnson, a 6'5 freshman, stocky, from South Haven, Mississippi, committed that foul. And uh, at the foul line will be Sean Mullen. Mullen will shoot a pair of free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Sean Mullen has been laboring a bit as he gets set at the stripe to our left, and the first free throw rolls in for Sean Mullen. Mullen had 13 points in 35 minutes last night in that excruciating win in double overtime over Morningside. Next free throw rolls off to the left, and it's rebounded by Ricky Johnson. Into the front court on the left wing, Harris. Harris on the left sideline, his pass tipped away by an aggressive Justin Jean Girard into the NSU bench. So the Sharks will now be off after tonight's game until a week from Sunday when they'll take on Benedict. And that'll do it until we ring in 2013. And at that point, the Sharks will play the preponderance of their schedule against conference opponents. BMC in gold on the blue jerseys of Blue Mountain College. A three ball from the right is good by Jarvis Fisher, who averages nine a game. Six feet even, a junior from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. 3-1 toppers. Right side line, Mullen guns it. Over to Gene Girard. Into the left corner, Berg a three. On the rim, off to the right. And a one-handed rebound for Fisher of Blue Mountain. Himself, Fisher into the front court. On the right side line of the Harris. He backs it out. A high looping pass on the left. Caught by Daniels. Daniels hangs out of the ball. Kevin Daniels, 6-3, a freshman. Gets it over to Fisher. Running right-handed. Good. And the toppers of Blue Mountain have a 5-1 lead. Three minutes into the game. On the right sideline, Gene Girard. Left sideline over to Armitage. Into the left corner to Resch. And over to Armitage. His three ball is in and out. And the rebound tipped into the air. Plucked and grabbed by Daniels. To four court Harris on the right. Fisher another three off the front of the rim. And the rebound taken by Gene Girard. J.J. himself to midcourt. Snaps into the right sideline of the front court for Steon Berg. Berg backs it out, gives once again to J.J. Justin Jean Girard, back of the Cuban to Mullen, goes on a high lob pass, caught by Resch, the one-hander underneath. He missed it. Good defense underneath by Poulian. And the other way, Blue Mountain College sets it up, and they've got a violation as the Blue Mountain toppers stepped out of bounds. Meanwhile, our first substitution of the night for the Nova Sharks as Brian Cahill checks in for Armitage. And with the ball, the Sharks trailing 5-1, not quite four minutes into the game. 
Resch straight away, fires again, got it. Luke Resch, who had a career high 37 last night in that win in double overtime over Morningside. And into the game for the first time, Shane Butler. He can score as well, Shane Butler can, and had a pretty good game against Morningside two nights ago. On the right wing, it's Daniels. Looks, gets it over to Johnson, middle of the floor against Gene Gerard. On the right over to Shane Butler. Butler to the right elbow. Now to Fisher, launches another three. This one's missed wide. Rebounded by Gene Gerard. J.J. over the timeline to the left wing. Weaves his way to the right wing. Gives to Resch. His three ball is good straight away. Luke Resch, his second field goal. Lucas Resch has seven in this game. Seven, five is the score. And Resch has got all seven of Nova's points. Middle of the floor. It is Pulliam with the ball for Blue Mountain. Gets it over to Fisher on the right over to Butler. Butler down the side of the lane. Pulls up. The left-hander from 15 is missed. The rebound is grabbed by Blue Mountain. And the three-point straightaway is missed by Johnson. The rebound over to Cahill, the young man from Arlington, Virginia. Cahill to the foul line. On the left, Gene Gerard for three. It is missed. Reaching for the rebound is Resch. He trips and falls as he collides with Johnson. And the long rebound is played by Fisher. Fisher into the front court, weaves his way to the lane. Fadeaway jumper is missed. Offensive foul against Blue Mountain against Fisher. So Fisher charged with his first. One on Fisher, one on Pulliam, and one on Johnson. And a timeout, 14-33 remaining in this first half here at the beautiful Don Taft University Center. The Sharks leading the toppers of Blue Mountain 7-5. This is Sharks basketball. <laughs> 